Does dextrose prolotherapy work to help treat knee arthritis? In this video, I will go over what prolotherapy is and why we use dextrose solution to try to treat musculoskeletal conditions. We will also go over clinical trials to answer the question, does dextrose prolotherapy help treat knee arthritis? Let's get started. Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Peng here. Now, if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, my goal is to help each and every one of you live an active and healthy lifestyle. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, so what is dextrose prolotherapy? Most people have not heard of this treatment before. Prolotherapy involves injecting a hypertonic solution to help treat a musculoskeletal condition. According to this study, although the precise mechanism of the prolotherapy effect is not fully understood, hypertonic solutions are believed to produce an inflammatory response through the recruitment of chemical mediators and growth factors that stimulate local healing of the injured intraarticular and extraarticular tissues. Okay, so that's prolotherapy. What about dextrose? Dextrose is a type of sugar. It is a molecule very similar to glucose. Now, before you roll your eyes and think this is complete new age nonsense, dextrose prolotherapy treatment has actually been used since the 1950s. The thought process is to actually use the irritant effects of hyper-concentrated dextrose to stimulate the body's healing mechanism. Okay, well that's in theory. What about in practice? Does dextrose prolotherapy work in treating symptoms related to knee arthritis? This is a randomized controlled trial that compared intraarticular dextrose prolotherapy to placebo. They administered the injections at weeks 0, 4, 8, and 6 and then measured outcomes at baseline four months, seven months, and one year. They found that intraarticular dextrose prolotherapy injections reduced pain, improved function, and improved quality of life in patients with knee arthritis compared with blinded saline injections. They also comment that the procedure is straightforward and safe, and that adherence and satisfaction were high. But that's just data from one trial. Let's pull data from multiple randomized controlled trials and perform a systematic review and meta-analysis. That's what this study did. They included 14 different trials, all comparing dextrose prolotherapy to placebo injection. And they found that compared with placebo injection and non-invasive control therapy, dextrose prolotherapy had favorable effects on pain, global function, and quality of life during the overall follow-up. Dextrose prolotherapy yielded greater reductions in pain score over each follow-up duration than did the placebo. Pretty impressive results. Now the authors did conclude that some of the studies had a high risk for bias, so they note that more well-conducted studies need to be performed. But for the time being, it seems like dextrose prolotherapy injections are safe and may provide great symptom relief. Now you may be asking, how does dextrose prolotherapy compare to other treatments? Specifically, how does it compare to PRP injections? This study compared PRP to dextrose prolotherapy for the treatment of knee arthritis. They administered three injections total, one at baseline, at one month, and then at two months. And the authors found that both groups had significant decreases in the overall symptom and functional scores. Both had improvements in quality of life shortly after the first injection. They also note that while both groups improved, they found that the people who got the PRP injections did far better. So what are my thoughts on dextrose prolotherapy? Well, based on current clinical trial data, PRP is still superior and seems like the best injection option for the treatment of knee arthritis. However, dextrose prolotherapy seems like a worthwhile treatment option if PRP is not available or someone can't get a PRP injection. Unfortunately, most insurances in the United States don't cover prolotherapy injections, even though dextrose solution is exceedingly cheap. After all, it's just concentrated sugar water. The other important thing to point out is that none of the clinical trials reported any adverse effects, so it seems like a safe treatment with very little downside. At the end of the day, we are still practicing in a fairly backward system. Insurances continue to cover cortisone injections despite a mountain of evidence that corticosteroid injections can cause long-term harm. Hopefully, as more and more clinical trials are done, we can present more and better data to insurance companies so that they start covering alternate treatment options that work for knee arthritis. And if you're looking for more information on how to take a multimodal approach to treating knee arthritis, check out this video next. Thanks for watching.